All right, guys, it is Tuesday, and uh, we got something pretty cool in here that was just vapor blasted, and I wanted to share it. It is a, these are Honda Civic engine block here in center, head, and transmission. So these are pretty much assembled, I guess, you know, besides the head being off of the block, but pistons, crank, everything, oil pan is all in there, and it is pretty heavy. And same with the transmission. Uh, all the guts are inside there as well, and same with the head head he uh customer supplied the block off plates attached those as well i just plugged everything else up and got this really expensive tape from home depot i don't even know what brand it is but it is so good i could vapor blast all over that and it won't even affect it so so that is sealed up really well um all the vapor blasting is done already and you know we plug this here's the transmission plug this all up and you can feel inside here this is a, another spot i had plugged before but it is completely dry nothing got by there now the only other place i would worry about is if you had a bad gasket area or something and if you had an oil leak somewhere where it was not supposed to be leaking oil you could get media inside so this is going to get rebuilt after you know i'm all done here this is going to get taken apart and gone through so it is not you know, you're not taking a gamble here whether or not media got inside. But um, after doing my own inspections, pulling the plugs, that everything looks great. Nothing inside. I spend probably just as much time prepping things like this as I do blasting them. Yeah, actually, maybe not. This is a couple hours of blasting, and I did not spend, you know, a couple hours prepping. But uh, I do take my time prepping. I mean, just look at the tape job there. Anyway. So yeah, this transmission looks really good. In person, it is really nice. Probably looks shinier than a brand new car. So this will look really good once he gets this thing all put back together. Again, the Honda Civic motor here. I even try to tape that off pretty good. It's got like a serial number on there. Um, also, so this tube is factory yellow zinc. It was in decent shape. I'll show you some before pictures, but I actually taped that off when I was doing the hard blasting because this was this had paint on the uh, the I guess the engine block was all painted. Same with the uh, the head and the transmission had the silver paint to try to make it look like it was new. Um, so I just taped this off for the hard blasting to remove the paint, and then I just did a very light blasting just to kind of polish it up and not remove any of that yellow zinc. Now this alternator bracket here, I'm assuming that's an alternator bracket. I actually removed it to blast behind here and it was so rusted before this bracket or didn't look good at all so i actually re-zinked it uh just so it looks nice and matches this tube here uh also taped off this anodized piece and this oil filter is taped up because it is destroyed cracked leaking oil when it was dropped off all over the place that was before i even got started uh so yeah this was painted silver before and now it looks like a brand new engine block this is about my max weight that I want to be picking up on my own and putting in and out of the cabinet, spinning it around, but uh, fits easily in the cabinet. So this head, uh, the customer supplied this block off plate for the intake and exhaust. Then I just went ahead and taped up the head gasket surface. All the valves are in there again. And uh, we did a, another blast job. So this all looks good. This was also painted with silver paint before too. And now it looks really nice. Again, uh, everything spins nice and free. Everything is looking real good here. So that was a fun project I thought I'd just share. If you had something like that and you're in the area, you feel like driving by, dropping something off like this before you tear down your motor and you want it to look brand new after the insides are going to be brand new, it might as well look like it. So this was first timer for a motor an engine block that was assembled we did do it did do an m5 engine block which is a v10 that was actually almost comparable in weight disassembled uh so yeah that was pretty heavy that was all aluminum v10 block probably close to the same weight as this thing so we got of course more banshee cases these actually were mailed in a few states away uh, instead of some local New Jersey cases. So, uh, also got some 
hardware that I was zinc plating. These are some door latches to older, an older Corolla, I believe, an older Corolla. Okay, and yeah, the door latches, hood latch. Uh, what else do we have here? This big box uh, was mailed in a uh, YZ250F full aluminum dirt bike frame and subframe in the center there. Also, in a separate box, he mailed the uh, swing arm. And let's see, we've got some more, more yellow zinc plating that I just finished up as well. These are Corolla hood latches. That one looks really cool, all the colors in there. So again, these before were pretty rusted. I guess I could try to show some pictures. Yeah, the dipstick came out nice too. It was pretty rusty and crusty. Then we got a whole bunch of miscellaneous, you know, piece of hardware that were previously yellow zinc from the factory. I think these are the only ones that were supposed to be silver. Some hose clamps, nuts and bolts, stuff like that. So yeah, I've been a little busy with the zinc plating and uh, it's all looking really good. And uh, let's just see what else we got. We got some more stuff going on over here. Some uh, independent throttle bodies. This will get vapor blasted and zinc plated. Then we got another, it's a big bag of more zinc to do. This is a part of the Honda Civic job. And I just yellow zinc these. These bolts were pretty rusty. I just didn't want him to, you know, put this thing back together. And if the bolts were already previously rusted, they'll look nice after you vapor blast them, but they will just get rusted again right away. So. Okay, and here's the setup. We got a five horsepower, 10 horsepower compressor. Uh, it's a dry blaster for some steel stuff. Um, scat blast, and then we got this whole thing for small parts. I, I haven't used this in probably months, but uh, it's there. Um, got this quad that is, I usually don't do service on anyone's stuff, but this was a good family friend and this thing was totally destroyed getting all types of work done in between you know my other blasting adventures so uh yeah this getting a whole bunch of work done anyway uh and here is the new vapor home cabinet this is the one that we fit all the transmissions in i think we did four assembled transmissions in here now uh three of them were rear wheel drive and that was the first front wheel drive transmission but yeah i got this thing all shut down now it was a long day of blasting today and uh it's starting to get a little dirty in here this is now this color is actually not dirt because they get very very we clean them really well before they go in here this is actually aluminum probably from the polishing you know if you ever wipe aluminum with a paper towel and polish it turns black this is kind of the same thing because you're really polishing the aluminum and it kind of has that dark uh, rub off or whatever it is. But yeah, so this is a new beast and it is has been good so far. A little leaky though. Um, I get a lot of media coming out the, the door, every, whether you open it or not. Um, some stuff leaks out of that window seal and drips on your head sometimes because it is just spraying stuff everywhere but uh yeah it's got its automatic drain that is the old runoff this is a pretty dirty runoff um that again that's just pretty much aluminum so this will get washed out again i pretty much do this after anytime it's like a pretty big job like that it will just get rinsed out fully you know shot back it all out because this thing is not on wheels so spent a lot of time just doing maintenance on on these machines it's uh it's a lot to keep up with but yeah that's pretty much it that is view of this shop over here and uh some of the stuff that we got going on so all right i think that is it um if we have any other cool things that come in i will probably make some videos of it
That's it for now. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.